More than 90 people have been killed in an explosion at a petrol station in Ghana's capital, Accra. Most of those who died had taken refuge in the forecourt during a bout of torrential rain. The blast was caused by a fire that erupted at a nearby lorry terminal, which then spread to the petrol station and nearby buildings. It kept raining, so there was still the uh, you know, runny water that was rising up. And because it is a filling station, there were a lot of fuel particles around. It got contaminated with the water. And then those that were not miscible with the water would definitely float. So they were floating on the surface of the water, but it's a runny water. So it was able to run from the filling station to a distance where there was an, a naked fire, and they picked the fire from there. Emergency crews continue to remove the bodies of some of the victims amid fears the death toll could rise. Initial signs suggest that the fire started by accident. President John Mahama, who visited the area, said he was heartbroken over the tragic incident. A lot of people have lost their lives. I'm very, I'm at a loss of words to express how I feel. Emergency services, including the military, the police, the fire service, were called out to come and help. They managed to rescue quite a large number of people, but unfortunately, a large number of people lost their lives. Flooding is said to have hampered rescue efforts after the country experienced two days of torrential rain. Mahama blamed the floods partly on homes and businesses built on waterways, blocking the city's drainage systems. The time has come, you know, for us to remove houses out of water. And the public should understand that it is necessary to save everybody else. Parts of Accra have been left without power as the flooding damaged electricity substations, making ongoing energy shortages even worse. With forecasters predicting even more rain, it's a worrying situation for a country already on its knees.